Hey everybody, this is Steven from Game Skinny, and today I'm going to show you how to build a catapult. Um, when you're done, you will have this sexy machine. Um, maybe without some of the embellishments, but this is kind of what I've been playing with. Um, you know, the end result's a catapult. So when you're done, you'll be able to go kaboom. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. It's definitely the classic besiege machine. Uh, so. Step one, I'm going to load just my, my cart bottom. Uh, it looks a little bit different than that one, but that's fine. So, a catapult is made up of a couple of key pieces. There's a post in the middle, a long bar, then there's a sprung, and there's a weighted side, and there's some bracing. Um, and that's really all there's to it. So, the first thing you need to do is put the top piece down. Uh, you'll be tempted to make this four tall, uh, but three is really the max because you've got to get the hinge and then the bar and then the piece to hold. And if you go up four, you'll actually be off the uh, the top piece there. So put this in. And then this guy. And what you want to do is actually bring that along and then remove that. So you can then bring this forward. So, um, you know... This, it all depends on a little bit of taste. And you can play with different lengths and such uh, to fit in your space or what you might want. Um, you might need a place for the catapult to rest. So, if you do this... Um, oops. So, if you do this, I'm going to rotate that down this way. So, what you'll see now if you play is there's more weight to the back and it it comes down. So the question now is, if we've got it like this, how do we get it to spring up? So, we have springs. And if you attach it here, bring it to here, then you will have uh, the sprung element in place. And if you look at the key mapper, you can make these contract by pressing L. So now, if we do that, and we can press L, and it shoots. That's really the catapult. Boom. Boom. And you can make this thing come apart. So we need a bit of bracing. Uh, so what we can do is we'll take a brace and attach it to here. And then you actually want to attach it to the hinge. And that'll keep it attached to the hinge. If you attach it low, then it messes up the whole thing. So you attach it to the hinge, and then go around to the other side and maybe bring one back here and attach it again to the hinge, not to the pieces below. Otherwise, you'll just lock the whole contraption up. So, there we go. Now, kaboom! And we're staying attached to the hinge a little better. Uh, you can still probably make it come apart. Um, but it's much more difficult now. Uh, so from here, it, you know, all this shaking is really lost energy into the trap. Uh, or into the catapult. So it just depends on exactly how much you want to do it. I think I've broken pieces of it, in fact, doing all this. So how much you want to brace it from here is really your choice. You just got to make sure you don't attach the bar to the bottom piece. So you can bring a brace across this way, bring a brace across this way, and then maybe even brace this like that. And what you'll see is you have a much different catapult now. Boom. 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 So now we need to get our munitions. So we go to weaponry and we'll put a holder up here. Um, uh, looks like I gotta move the whole contraption. So we're doing a, a holder here. And then our ball of choice. I'm a big fan of the bomb. So there. And now, let's get our camera around the right way. Kaboom. 
And that's a catapult. Uh, so just to to go back over it, uh, the catapult is a stacked piece in the middle. Um, stacked piece in the middle. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a block that isn't distracting. Uh, a stacked piece in the middle, like this. A hinge, the cross member, the piece holding the bomb. And then the important piece is this coming down to pull it up after it rests. Um, and then it just the bracing here will keep the catapult from separating. Uh, the thing is, there's no way to that I know of right now to reload this reliably uh, without a much larger machine. So you really only have one shot anyway. You just don't want it to come apart uh, you know, as you throw it. So that is your catapult. Uh, you can embellish it in a number of ways. Uh, I see some people who take a suspension piece and they put it here. Uh, that makes it rest nicely. And you can shoot. Um, yeah, it makes it rest nicely, but frankly, it's a one-shot kind of deal anyway. Um, and I like it. I like mine to actually come back down lower, so I feel like getting more out of it. Um, you can you can move where this is attached, and you get a, a slightly different pull. Uh, you might get more or less out of it. Um, it depends on your range. You know, that could be something you adjust, so you can just do full shots. Um, but that is a catapult. Enjoy.